Welcome to Sketching Ground. Today we will be drawing Professor X, Patrick Stewart, a legend. So let's see how that turns out. That's quite the party going on downstairs, isn't it, Charles? I know. Well, it's a good thing that there's no alcohol left. What's happened to you? Hey, I'm designated driver tonight. I have to be the responsible one. Especially since you emptied all my secret emergency alcohol caches in the house. How did you find them anyway? Well, I am psychic, you know. Right. And how did you get to them? Well, let's just say I know a little girl who can walk through walls. But it's over now, right? The party's over, everyone is going home. Why do you ask questions which you already know the answers? You've sent Wolverine on a beer run, haven't you? You now need you to take the jet and try and pick him up. No, I won't, Charles. It's, it's after 3am. You and Wolvie have to finally find an end. How do you even drink that much? We're mutants. Charles, it really has to stop now. I want you to try and relax. Okay, but this still has to end. I mean, it's obviously a good thing I'm watching you guys. What do you think would have happened if I were drinking too? I'd have Jean braid your hair. Not that much to braid left, I'm afraid. Oh no. What have you guys done to my chandelier? Why is it lying broken on the floor? Physics. Well, I guess I have to be thankful that you didn't make even more of a mess out of my living room. The lower levels, however, are an entirely different matter. Oh gosh, Charles, what have you guys done with the basement? Don't you have any decency left? There appears to be none. I guess you really should find another place to continue the party now. There's an abandoned military compound at Alkali Lake. Yeah, that sounds ideal for you guys. Go, have fun. Okay, so now that they're finally gone, let's talk a little bit about the picture before I have finally to go to bed. So the material of the paper is, is a bit coarse, so that results in a quite coarse style. If you, as you can see, there are not that many details that I put into this picture, but, but it works pretty well with, with the motive and, and the look is pretty cool. It's not a smooth paper, that means that when I try to draw very dark, there's still a lot of white that comes through from the grain of the paper. That stops me from implementing too many details, but we don't need it with this style here. You will see during the course of, of drawing this picture that there are uh, quite it's it's not very sharp when you look at the head when you look at where the head ends and and the helmet from cerebro starts it is not that hard cut most of the time in the end i'm adding that sharp line so that you have uh clear lines and clear clear endings of, of where the, the face ends where, where the head ends and where the helmet starts you need that even in this coarseness the coarseness can look interesting as long as you have those clear defined lines. That's also um, the, the eyes, the, the mouth, all of that also has to be quite clearly defined. If, if you, that is too much um, flowing into each other, you are losing the identity of the picture. You, you can want that. that, that can be the style you're going for. Uh, for this, I, I want it to be clear, uh, although quite coarse. There have to be some of the wrinkles around the the eyes that has to be there that shows to you that this is a face and that the, the face has a certain age. Um, but also the style itself lends to, to thinking that it has a certain age. So I'm often going just for realism. With this one, actually, I was thinking about the style in the beginning and trying to implement it and it worked better than I thought it would. <laughs> but it also made me think, oftentimes you think about the... the, the in, when you think about the materials you're using, you're thinking about the, the pencils and coal or, or lead or color or what, what, whatever, but uh, the paper... Um, sometimes you don't think enough, or, or I don't think enough, about what influence the paper has on the end result. 
and I'm just thinking, okay, white or gray. <laughs> but that's not all. So the, the material, the grain of the paper also has a lot of influence on the style you can do. It supports certain styles better than others. I don't always pay enough attention to that. Uh, but I thought it is important and, and I thought perhaps uh, I will make a video about that in the future. If you're interested, let me know. By the way, let me uh, say a little bit about the helmet here. So it's <laughs> actually you don't see that much of the helmet. So it's it's not really a um, factor that it makes it more difficult or something. I did not go for full realism with the tubes that are coming out of it. So if you look at the original, there there are lots of, of intricacies with those ridges. If I would have gone for that, that would probably have taken about the same amount of time it took for me to draw on the face. But I limited myself time-wise. Um, you know, or you don't, uh, that I'm a little bit ill and I don't have too much time for each and every portrait, so I'm limiting myself. There are always areas where I can, uh, where I can save a little time, where I can say, okay, that is not as important as the rest. So if you have a time limit, you can look for those things. In this case, it was the tubes for me. Oh, hang on a second. Sorry, somebody's at the door. Hello, who's there? I'm Charles Xavier. Would you like some breakfast? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we need to be a little quiet so Charles doesn't hear that I'm still awake. So I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It doesn't have that much detail, but the structure is, is, makes it something special. So I like it. I hope you do like it too. It makes me think about the paper and what influence the paper has on the complete picture. I have not delved into that too much, although I have a couple of different papers here and I might try them out and let you know what I think. Let me know if that is of interest to you. But that's it for today. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. I had a lot of fun. I hope you too. If you did, give me that thumbs up and the subscription. I hope I'll see you next time again. Goodbye.